Hello everyone, welcome back to knowledge sharing series using Raspberry Pi, Node-RED and IoT. In this session, we are going to discuss about the Node-RED with the database. How to use the database connectivity with the Raspberry Pi and Node-RED. Now friends, as we can see, we do not have any node called MySQL in our existing list of nodes. So first of all, we need to install that from the palette go to the palette click on the install check for the mysql the very first node node red node mysql we are supposed to install this when it is asking for the information click on install it takes few minutes to install it depends on the internet availability once it is installed you can see the mysql node on the list of our existing nodes you can see the message appears that it is installed now let us check on the left hand side on the list of our nodes mysql yes friends it is available uh, the basic access to mysql database just drag and drop here you can see we are having the connecting nodes on both the side it means we can inject as well as we can take the output from this particular node but before we start working with the mysql node we should have mysql database installed on our raspberry pi so friends uh, check the video uh, link is already given in the description how to install the mysql into the raspberry pi now uh, as I have already installed the MySQL data server on my Raspberry Pi, let us configure that to work with this particular node. So double click on this node, just it is uh, asking for the add new MySQL database. You click on this particular edit button, it will ask for this particular host as we are working on the same node, so IP address or the host is the same. Uh, I suggest not to change the port until and unless you have modified the port during the installation. Then I have uh, created one user called Pi and the password is also I have set. My database name is example db and the time zone I am not supposed to modify it or I am not changing it anyway. Uh, click on add and uh, let's click on the done and as soon as I deploy and if everything is okay it is showing me that it is connected that indicates that i am able to connect or communicate with my database server on the raspberry pi if i am having the database server somewhere else i must suggest or sorry i must edit the host id so that i can connect with that particular database server now friends let's try to fetch the values from the particular table using this uh, mysql node so for that I am using an inject node and uh, I am using a debug node so that the values which I am fetching will be available on my debug window. Let's connect these three nodes with each other. Here uh, in the timestamp uh, you can select this as an string and you can specify the select star from table name. My table name is test fine but before you uh, do anything in that just click on the mysql node click over here as an information tab and then just see that there are two things they have mentioned that is message dot topic must hold the query of the database and the result is written in message dot payload so if you want to execute any query from this particular node from this then you must send that query into the message dot topic and if you want to send the or you want to set the value inside the message dot topic then it must go over here where the topic is written so let's say I am moving the query over here and I am clicking done right now it is connected I am not supposed to do anything in this let's deploy it let's open the debug window and click on the inject node if everything is okay it is showing me some sort of value over here there is no error it is showing some sort of value it has a values of 17 i mean 17 rows are there 
from where I can see each and every values. I can execute, I can open it, each and every object one after another. You can also see that 10 to 16 objects are also there. I have mentioned some names and some informations are there. All the details can be seen from this particular debug window. So friends, uh, let's conclude this. A very simple thing is if you have installed the MySQL database properly on Raspberry Pi, you can easily connect it with the MySQL node in Node-RED. Then uh, create and query using the inject node. There is no value required in the payload. You just specify the query whatever you wish to uh, fetch or you wish to execute on MySQL database. Then uh, connect the debug node. It will display the information on the debug window. This is the very simple way to communicate with the MySQL database using Node-RED. Still, we will see many of the videos by which we can manipulate the queries and we can display the different values in the different areas of nodes. I hope you learn the things and you enjoy it. But again, I am reminding, please make sure that you are having the proper installation of MySQL database. Please subscribe the channel to get the regular updates on knowledge series. Thank you.